Hello everyone, it's your Dutch of Hormast and welcome to the last part of the futuristic house let's build. So today this is part 8 I believe of let's build a futuristic house. In the previous parts we've built everything you see over here in the last few parts. I've actually been working on the interior of the house. Here you see some open space which uh, you'll be able to furnish yourself once this house is available for download. And um, yeah, now I'm actually going to continue working on this upper level of the house because in that way, um, yeah, the house will, will seem to be like nearly finished actually except for some small rooms because of course as you can see this house is very large therefore I one don't have enough time or just not enough attention or I just really don't want to furnish the entire house myself simply because that's kind of a boring job to do actually and furthermore um, honestly I think it would be cool if my viewers would be able to design uh, the interior of the house themselves as well or some rooms of it because in that way uh, you would be able to um, yeah, just simply have uh, in the house what you want to have in the house so if you want to have like an extra gym though I mean look at this gym down here we've already got a huge gym with a spa but I mean if you want to have any specific room in it then you will be able to add it yourself and in that way everyone will be happy with the house and if everyone is happy I'll be happy as well and I just noticed that I've actually changed the entire shadow of this house or the colors changed so therefore I've got to change that back let me see what is the problem if I do this you create a room and then it all messes up alrighty I've got to keep that in mind because I think this is still going to be kind of a hard job to do because I'm afraid yeah this is going to be kind of hard but I'm going to do my best to make this as good as possible but as you see creating rooms is like nearly not possible because the way um, yeah those skylights uh, which are by the way custom content are located um, yeah they cause it to be very hard to um, yeah, create it the way I really want it to be or at least create rooms the way I want them to be because as you can see if you create a room it kind of messes everything up but yeah that's kind of hard because it seems like I'll not even be able to close off rooms but like I said I believe in one of the previous episodes I had the plan to actually uh, make this a really open uh, open floor plan house so I think I'm going to continue that idea and I'll actually make this very open open floor uh, and therefore also kind of futuristic I guess because it's really different and nowadays you nearly never see a house which will be as open floor uh, as this house is um, so yeah that's it I guess because this will be the bathroom not close to half as you can see and then over here I'll be creating another bathroom and Attached to that is actually a bedroom because you know you need a bedroom with a bathroom or at least actually it's the other way around um, So yeah, let me see that's awesome Then I want to add these there Just for the modern effect um, Yeah, this hallway over there is kind of useless, but at least it looks cool You know you have this view of the city which I mean that looks pretty cool actually um then I'm going to add the floor which we've got over here so that's the way I'm going to divide this area so we do not have any problems there uh, with the uh, outer sky pieces uh, like being deleted and stuff and then here I want to have another very big um, yeah bathroom so let me think about that I guess I'll be able to create that in this way and then another one like this maybe yep then here we can have like a, an area to play like games and stuff you know we might be able to add like a foosball table or something like that um, because in that way you know the sims in the future can also enjoy their lives a little bit more um so yeah here we add some more lights but that's kind of useless actually simply because uh, these rooms 
are not closed off and therefore the lighting in this upper area is terrible we've got to think about that because really the lighting in this area is terrible but as you can see if we work in the darkness uh, the lighting is a little bit better so i will be furnishing this house while it's dark outside because in that way we get a little bit of a better impression and i must say that i do now notice that this house is very heavy to handle because even my pc is kind of starting to um well it's not really lagging but i do notice that it it's kind of having a hard time no not that strange as this is like nearly a 200,000 simoleon house which is i guess the most expensive house i've ever built in the sims 4 so far but i'm not sure about that um but yeah just keep that in mind once you download it and of course there is custom content in this house so if you download this keep that in mind if custom content is normally not bad but you've got to keep in mind that the one you are not going to blame me if anything goes wrong because of course this has not been tested by ea or created by ea themselves so therefore it's always possible that there's like something uh, that might go wrong but i wouldn't worry about it too much because you do get some really cool um, out, like items back for it because you get these awesome sky pieces um, so yeah let me see we've got this bedroom over here and i'm going to add a bed of course because that's in the end what you need in a bedroom um let me see if I'm not sure what which one to add like i said in the previous episodes in my opinion there are not enough good looking bats in the sims 4 so i really hope that's something that's going to be fixed because i mean all those bats just look terrible in my opinion like some people might really like them but they're not yeah of course actually if you think about it bats are normally not really yeah that beautiful also in real life but i must say that these are like terrible if you ask me um so yeah let me see we have find, found a bed which at least looks kind of okay i guess um then we can add this one though that is extremely bright like really really bright i mean look at that maybe if we look at it from the daylight of course then it's not bright enough again but you know i've explained that already sorry for it but i'm unfortunately not able to fix that maybe in the future someday uh, when there are like updates on this uh, mod we'll be able to fix it but so far that's not possible yet here we add some cool llamas on the wall and then yeah this this room does not look finished yet so there's not that much more I can still add so I guess adding something like this adds up to it already then I guess in the future people will be playing the guitar as well let me see is there a more modern guitar no I know guitars don't have to be more modern in the future but yeah this black one looks a little bit more modern than a regular wooden one so we're adding that then i would like to add some lights to it as well not for the light but just as decoration kind of yeah that looks cool and then now we have the bathroom over here which is open plan so that's <laughs> kind of strange for a bathroom i guess but um yeah we can't do that much about it and at the same time of course the idea is pretty cool it's just <laughs> in real life it would not be that functional most likely you know one it would be cold and it's not really that private but i mean every room has its own bathroom so therefore i guess we cannot really call this a problem you know not that many people are going to come around in this in your own room so therefore i wouldn't worry about that too much and especially you know think about it it's sims so it doesn't really matter sometimes it seems like people forget that i'm actually building a sims house and they get way too excited about the fact that i forget like a fridge and they're afraid that someone is going to die because of hunger uh, that's not going to happen because i forgot to add a fridge you know this is sims um so yeah no stress about that there we add like some towels and this stuff over here 
And then, you know, put one over there as well. Now we're not going to add laundry. Will I still do something with this roof area? It would be cool if I could make like a really cool roof pool. Or at least finish this area a little bit. So I guess I'm going to be doing that. And I've got to think about the stairs going up. I think those stairs will be over here. There we go. Perfect. Yep. Well, in that way we've got some cool area going on over there. Um, adding a small little fence around it just for safety. You know, you don't want anyone falling down there because... That would kind of suck, you know, also in the future. Um, obviously. There we go. Now you've got a cool, yeah, rooftop pool. I mean, awesome. Rooftop infinity pool, actually. That's like even better. I know that there is, and like the most famous one is in Singapore. And I really want to go there once just to swim in that pool or just chill out there at the bar, which they have over there as well, because I mean, an infinity rooftop pool is like the most awesome thing to have. I remember one day in Greece I actually had like a house with an infinity pool there. And that was awesome because it looked out over the sea but it did not look out like over a skyline. Um, because you know it's Greece and it wasn't an island. But <laughs> really in Singapore it would be awesome to see that one day. Hopefully ever that will be possible. But you know it's on my big bucket list so I guess. One day it will happen. Let me see. What can I add over here? I've honestly not really got an idea what to add over here. Because we do not have like a foosball table yet. Maybe we can make a library. But though I mean in the future everything will be on iPad. So adding a library would be kind of silly. Then furthermore. Um, I have no idea what to fill this room with. You know maybe this will be one of the rooms which you may fill yourself, but otherwise in this episode I'm only uh, creating like bed and bathrooms and that's kind of boring as well, but yeah, it's better than adding nothing. So you can use that other room, uh, you will be able to add to it whatever you would like to add to that um, room because in that way you have what you would like to see in the house. And maybe, you know, I've changed the color of the pool like you just saw me doing. And I think in this way it looks a little bit cooler, you know, we have such a light white, kind of cold looking pool over there, which I like, there we go. It kind of fits in with the house better. Adding all these more white boring walls to this house, there we go. Then we go into night mode again, because otherwise the lighting is crap. Did I? Yep, I did add a light in the bathroom. There we go. My game is really having kind of a hard time trying to get everything the way it should be rendered, I guess. Or at least it feels like my game is kind of having a hard time. I mean, look at this awesome penthouse which you have over here. I mean,. Imagine sleeping over here. I'm still going to add the bath, then you can imagine it a little bit better, I guess. Um, but just think about it, you know, that's the best place to wake up, I guess. You know, too bad that this is the. Well, the view is pretty cool. You know, you even have a skyline which uh, to look out over. It's not New York, but you know, at the same time, it's still pretty cool. Which makes this room, I think, the best uh, bedroom. This will be the master bedroom, I guess. But the one downstairs is really cool as well. But as I said in the previous part, that one really feels like a guest room. So I guess, therefore, I'll be using it. Or you can be using it as a guest room as well for Sims coming over. Uh, so yeah, let me see. This looks kind of futuristic, I guess. I must say, I kind of start to lose my inspiration when it comes to the interior. So if this is the first video you're watching from me, I would advise to check out some other of my videos as well. Because this is definitely not my most creative or my most awesome video ever. Um, because I must say, this is like a Sunday evening for me. Kind of 
relaxed. I'm just making a video. Got to, uh, got to go to school tomorrow again. So, uh, yeah, this is just a relaxed video. Uh, and therefore, you know, also, yeah, the interior which I'm creating today is not the most special thing ever. So, yeah, I'll just advise to check out another video if you want, if you're like thinking about subscribing. I mean, that's not the hardest decision. I would advise to just simply do it, you know, it's free. So if you've not clicked that subscribe button yet, just do it because that would be awesome. I mean, look at this bath is actually really cool. I do not use that one enough. I really want to be able to build penthouses. I just realized that I would actually really appreciate it if something like that would show up in The Sims 4. Uh, I've never really appreciated that much in The Sims 3 simply because it did not work that well in my opinion and it just never looked that good. And I was never really happy with uh, the way penthouses worked in The Sims 3. But I think if they would come to The Sims 4 they would look so much better and just so much cooler that um, I would really enjoy it then. So here we've got like this sink, which seems to be white, but it's not white. Now it's white, but now you can't even see anything of it anymore. So I guess I'm going for that color, which is so much darker. And the white tile, it does look good for some reason. There we go, adding some toilet paper, then there we go a mirror and then i'm going to make it exactly identical on this side of the house as well because in that way that's kind of futuristic as well people in the future will be lazy because people are kind of lazy nowadays already so um they just want to have exactly the same rooms and i must say this time it's me being lazy <laughs> i must be totally honest about that and the lag is kind of st starting to frustrate me so therefore i'm also trying to just finish this house and then be done with it there we go um then i'm also going to finish this bedroom and of course i'll personalize it a little bit uh, oh i just came up with the idea to make this ah that's that is sick that is just look at that you know you can I find, you know, this is a really cool room, especially because there's so many windows, but I felt, you know, you want to have only cool rooms. And the awesome thing is, you know, see through the pool all the way to the other side of the house. I mean, this is insane. I, later on, if I would be able to pay for it, I would definitely have a house which has like a pool like that, that you can actually look through it. I'm not sure whether that's even like physically possible. But I assume it is because if as long as you have like glass that is strong enough, I guess it should be able to work. So therefore, yeah, that would really be awesome. Next bucket list thing, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Then we've got some lights to add, or at least I've got one light which I really want to add to this room and that's this one comes with what is it again uh, perfect party or no it's not perfect patio it's perfect patio and this is I forgot an elixir luxury items what is the name of it again I've totally forgotten let me see packs a luxury party is the name I was not that far off I thought I had like no words of the name correct but at least I had one correct um, but yeah, <laughs> that item, and that's really cool in my opinion, it just looks good. Uh, then I'm, by the way, adding the dress, those cupboards over here. Here we go. By the way, I just realized that actually if I'm going to make a fly through, which is the plan for this video, I might actually not be able to do so simply because the house is too laggy. I hope I will be able to like make like a perfectly fine fly through but if I'm not sorry for that but then it was simply because this house is way too laggy um, but I'm at least going to try to make like a good fly through of this house because I think this house really deserves it because I honestly think this turned out to be insane and really special especially because of those skylights props to simply Nando 
and Cinderella Mouse, I believe the name was, uh, for creating this because without that, this house would really not look as awesome. But yeah, let me add this and this over there. And then I guess I finished these rooms. They're not way too fancy, you know, they're pretty fancy, but they're nothing special because they are furnished exactly the same. Um, but what's special about the fact this area kind of is, is the fact that I've literally used no door. It's simply one huge room. But um, yeah, I hope you still like this area and I hope you still enjoyed this episode because as you noticed, it was kind of a really chilled out episode and just not, nothing too creative. Uh, if you want to check out a little bit more creative works, check out the first episodes of this series because then I built this entire exterior, which is really crazy in my opinion. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed watching this entire series actually. I hope I'll be able to make a fly through if not, that would really be sad. But yeah, thanks for watching the entire series. Please let me know what you thought of it. Please let me know what kind of get together series or let's build series I should be doing. And then I hope to see you back later.